everyone welcome to my channel all right so today I'm going to be doing a pattern review for McCall's 7333 and, and it is a hooded jacket with a tie around the waist all right so the sizing for this pattern it starts at a size 6 and it goes to a size 26 now for me for myself I went ahead and cut out the size 8 slightly just very slightly because I did make modifications but overall it does the hood looks exactly how it did in the picture uh, the cut also looks like it did in the picture so other than the modifications that I made I think that your finished result will look like the pictures uh, provided on on the pattern The instructions were straightforward and easy to follow. Um, one thing, um, one thing that might be a little bit tricky if you're new to using patterns was how to attach um, the facing of the hood to the jacket. So when you are attaching uh, right along the neck area, that part might be a little bit fuzzy if you're or unclear. If you're new to sewing, it might be a little bit tricky because it calls for you to slip stitch. And if you're new to sewing, that might be a little bit of challenge. But just go ahead and push yourself. It's okay. It's, you know. But I wouldn't derail that or tell you not to sew it because of that. It'll just help you to develop and grow and get a new skill for yourself. So even though that part might be challenging, you'll learn and grow if you make a mistake and then you have extra tools added on to your sewing skills. Um, other than that, it wasn't unclear. Um, it was pretty, the, the instructions were pretty straightforward. And if you don't understand like a certain part in instructions, one thing that I do and still do now is I'll just Google the word and see what it is that they're saying or try to find a video or I just try it out and if I mess up, whip out that handy dandy uh, seam ripper, rip that thing out, rip that seam out and just try it again. That's all you can do. The thing that I love about this pattern is um, kind of like it's kind of I guess it's a high-low effect, but I love how the front of the dress um, is cut One thing that I did not like was how that it called for How it called for you to use like a different type of string for How it called for you to use a different type of string. So what I did instead was that um, I just used fabric to make the strings because I didn't like the look of using something other than the fabric like I tried to I think I forget what it actually called for you to use um to make the the ties but I tried that and I did not like it so I opted to just use some of the scrap fabric that was left over and just like how you would make a spaghetti strap or tube that's exactly what I did to um make the ties for the jacket for this jacket, I went ahead and used a Kente print. This one is very lightweight, um, lighter than the other Kente prints that I usually buy. At first when I bought it, I was a little bit disappointed because how lightweight it was. But since now we're moving into spring, because it is such a lightweight fabric and lighter than the other Kente and Ankara prints that I use, it is more breathable. So I'll be able to wear it throughout the springtime and not get all hot. And to line the hood, I went ahead and used another, um, I just used a solid black 100% uh, cotton fabric to do the facing for the hood. Alright, so for these pattern alterations, just hang in there with me because I had a vision for what I wanted the jacket to look like, so I just went ahead and put my own twist on it. So first things first, I already told you how I changed the tie, so that was one alteration that I made. Next alteration, for the waistband part, there is right around the waist, it calls for... Um, 
a piece of elastic that will go around the whole waist but instead of doing it around the instead of doing it around the entire waist I just put it in the back because I have this denim jacket and I was kind of trying to use this pattern to emulate that denim jacket that I have and the elastic only goes around the back waist and so I did the same exact thing for my jacket I didn't bring it all the way up to the front pattern pieces of the jacket I just left it um, in the back and also I didn't want to uh, also because this is a um, because I use a, a print for the fabric I didn't want to continue disturbing and altering the print of uh, the print of the jacket so I opted not to um, bring it all the way around I just uh, shortened it and kept it for the back uh, of the jacket only Next alteration that I made was for the sleeve. So I went ahead and lengthened the sleeve about 10 inches. And then for uh, the cuff of the sleeve, I went ahead and used the elastic, same elastic from the waistband. I think it calls, yeah, it calls for one and one fourth of an inch. And since I didn't bring the elastic all the way to the front of the jacket, I had some elastic left over. So what I did was I used it, I turned the sleeves up um, an inch and a half, and then uh, created a casing and inserted the elastic into the sleeve. Alright, will I make this jacket again? Yes. Um, I like having patterns in a solid and using a printed fabric so I do plan to make this jacket one more time using a solid color and maybe I'll make it in a print again I just like the casualness of the jacket I like that it has a hood um, because of the way that I did the sleeve with it having the elastic I can pull it up if it starts to get a little bit warm or I can let it uh, um, or I can just, you know, move it down if I'm a little bit colder. So I do plan to make this jacket again. The hood is, um, the hood is nicely sized, uh, especially to fit over, especially I have all this, these goddess locks that I have now. So I can still fit this hood over my goddess locks. And yeah, so I will be making this McCall's pattern M733. Three, one more time or maybe two more times all right everyone so this concludes the pattern review for McCall's M733 go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below if you have any questions or just say hey I love this video please keep doing video pattern reviews because I like and enjoy watching them all right until next time